Well, welcome everybody today to Tula's Tips for Caregivers. It's a beautiful day. I know we might get a little bit of rain later, but again, I could use it, so I hope that's good with you guys. First of all, I want to give a shout out and a thank you to all the folks who attended the caregiver conference that I did on the north side yesterday. We were at Royal Tabernacle Church, and we had about 50 caregivers come out and listen to some really good lectures on how to plan for the future, how to plan for what documents you might need, transition. We had a good talk on caring for yourself. That's what I try to tell you guys, the importance of every Saturday when I'm here, that your care matters, your life matters, the things you enjoy doing really matters. So if you're one of those caregivers that was there yesterday and you happen to be listening today, again, I'm going to encourage you to call in. Again, the number is 854-1320. And I'm going to tell you again at the top of the hour that I have a couple of gift certificates to give away to the first three callers, but you have to call in and be on the show. You can't just call the number and say, I want a gift certificate. You have to call in and be on the show. I have a gift certificate today to Riverfront Cafe, the Mediterranean, and actually I have two $500 gift certificates for Hardage Giddens for the pre-planning your own arrangements, whether that be cremation or that of your loved one, of course, or funeral plan. Two $500 gift certificates to go towards this. That's a huge benefit. So please, again, feel free to call at 854-1320. For those of you who might be listening for the first time, you know that there are a lot of caregivers in our nation. In the USA today, we have over 66 million caregivers. And truly, you are the backbone of our long-term care system. You are the heroes, those of you who are caring for a loved one. Some of you day in, day out, 24-7 without a whole lot of break. And we'll talk about that because there is a lot of help and assistance for you. So I'm here every Saturday to connect you to resources in the community. I want you to call in and ask questions. I am a medical social worker by trade, and I'm pretty familiar with everything that is in this community to help you as a caregiver to care for your loved one. The other thing that I always hope to do is provide some encouragement and some strength to you. I know it's a challenging role. It's also a very rewarding role, and you're doing it because you love your loved one. But we know it can get hard at times, and so we're here to provide you strength and encouragement. And then I want you again to let you, not, let you know you're not alone. It's important to know that, and I can help connect you to other caregivers. I believe strongly in the caregiver buddy philosophy. If you're out there as a caregiver, it really helps to have somebody else who's doing the same thing, a friend you can call and talk to, and I can help do that for you. So without further ado, I am excited to introduce my two guests today. I got to know them actually pretty well yesterday at the caregiver workshop that I just mentioned. My two guests today are Andrea Hart and Royce Hart. They are a couple who are the owners and directors of Bright Star, Bright Star, I can say it, <laughs> Bright Star Home Care. And they've been in this business since about the first of the year. And they have a pretty illustrious background. Um, I've enjoyed chatting with them yesterday and today. Andrea actually has a background in healthcare and in health wellness. She has been the corporate health consulting person for several different companies in Jacksonville, including JCA. She sits on the Mayor's Council for Fitness and Wellbeing. She's on the First Coast website, Wellness Council, Connect Florida, and several other organizations that have a lot to do with wellness. But she has a passion, too, for seniors, as does her husband, Royce, who established his passion for seniors when he worked at an assisted living facility here in town. And they just decided it was really important to them to reach out to seniors and be able to care for seniors and their caregivers. So they opened Bright Star Home Care at the beaches to serve the Ponte Vedra and Beaches area early this year. So Andrea, I'm going to ask you, um, tell me a little bit about Bright Star and how long it's been around. Well, Bright Star has actually been around since 2004. It's a national our nationwide health, home health, uh, and home care company. And what's unique about Bright Star is that we service infants all the way through seniors with um, the services that we have. So um, we pretty much help everyone, which is a lot for us, but. <laughs> it is a lot. <laughs> but, you know, we do, um, 
We do want to do that. It was founded by uh, JD and Shelly's son. Uh, Shelly is actually the CEO. And the reason why they founded the, the whole Bright Star system, Bright Star organization, is because they had a grandmother, Grandma Pat. Okay. And uh, they were looking for quality care for her and could not find it. You know, they went through many, many agencies. And it was just not like family for them. So uh, what they ended up doing, they were very entrepreneurial. <laughs> so they went ahead and started uh, Bright Star. And it's just grown, and it's only been since 2004, but there's over 250 uh, locations nationwide. And wow. here in Florida, there's uh, 22, or the 22nd. <laughs> that is tremendous <laughs> growth in yes. that short span of time. Yeah, and I think it's because uh, we are almost like a one-stop shop where you can get your companion care, you can get your, uh, your nurses to come to the home, and then we also service the kids. So, um, and then uh, with, with Shelly, what she's doing, she's looking to broaden and do some more things, which I'm not at liberty to say, but. <laughs> it will be, it will be yeah. the sign in the, on the dotted line, right? Yes. yes. I understand that. So, but we are the a new office here in Jacksonville. They're, uh, we're not new to Jacksonville, or Bright Star's not new to Jacksonville. Um, uh, we're taking over for a previous office that had been here since 2008. But we do service primarily the beaches and Palm Beach area, but uh, we are the only office in Jacksonville. Uh, the next closest office is Orlando. So, <laughs> so if you got a call from somebody yes. in the Mandarin area, yeah, we'll, we'll, take, we'll care. take care of them. Yeah. Is your office located at the beaches area? Yeah, we're right, um, we're right on Beach Boulevard, about a mile from Kernan. Okay. Very good. So, in other words, you will service all of Duval County and take yeah. care of anybody. Okay. Right, Duval and St. John's. And um, we actually even have gotten some calls about Bernardino Beach and places. If we can get a caregiver to go out there, we will definitely, you know, we'll send them out there. So, um, I don't know if they'll go as far as a uh, past St. Augustine, Palm Coast. Yeah, and things, that's a good but, stretch. Yeah, that's a that's little that's bit. A but stretch. hey, call us. We, we might be able to figure some things out. We actually, there are some caregivers that will travel, mm -hmm. you know, and, and do those things. Even uh, we had a a situation at the, the other office they traveled all the way to Miami once a week so wow. <laughs> yeah so that's really wanting a certain organization to take care of your loved right, one yeah um, that speaks volumes yeah but once people experience the bright star way and the bright star difference um, you know because we're definitely pro caregiver you know because and, and one thing and you see that with some of the things that we already have established like we don't have any minimums so if you just need no minimum hour, hours that you have to have. No, and people think we're crazy when we say no minimums. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, it's just because we care. You know, sometimes right. somebody wants to get their hair done. You know? Right, and they're only going to be gone two hours. <laughs> yeah, and I know exactly. a lot of your home care agencies do have like a four-hour minimum. Yes. So that's a wonderful thing that distinguishes you from yeah. some of the others. Um, one thing you're going to learn today, Andrea, is that this show goes really, really fast. Mm -hmm. We're already hearing the music play behind us, so that means. We're getting ready to go to break. Okay. Um, listeners, please call us at 854-1320. You're listening to Tula's Tips for Caregivers on Talk Radio 600 WBOB. We'll be right back.